Hello everyone and welcome back to the show. Today on your daily starter, let's talk about the ultimate key to a life of success. I believe that if you are serious about getting successful, there are certain things you have to consider. And on this video, I'm going to share it all with you. Hello friend, this is the voice of Ademola Kurevish. Hello friend. I believe that if we are serious about success, the conversation needs to start, you know, with this idea of getting clear on exactly what we want, right? Success is not something that is defined and absolute. Success is relative. What I consider to be success does not necessarily have to be what you consider to be success. And that's fine, that's okay. We are not clones of each other. <laughs> Even if you inspire me or I inspire you, ultimately we are different. And what you consider to be success might not necessarily be what I consider to be success. And I have no right to impose my view of success on you, just as you have no right to impose your own idea of success on me. If we both can agree on what success means, then we can move together. And if we don't, we look for like-minded people that can roll with, isn't it? But what we absolutely need to understand is that you cannot be successful if you are not clear on exactly what you want. And I believe that a lot of people, they mix it up at this point, right? They are not clear on exactly what they want. By the time you keep changing the goalposts every three months, you are not likely going to ever land at a spot that you will consider to be successful, isn't it? You know, imagine playing, you're playing football, right? And the goalpost is being shifted every five minutes. How are you going to score a goal? I mean, you plan there, you see the goalpost. And by the time you get the ball and take a shot, the goalpost has been shifted. I mean, how are you ever going to score? Right? That is the problem I see as well. A lot of us, we, we crave success. We want a successful life. But we are not even sure what success means to us. We are not even sure what success looks like. Like, even if an angel descended from heaven right now and tapped you on the shoulder and asked you and said, young woman, young man, what do you want me to do for you that would make you consider yourself to be a success? I'm so sure that so many of us will not be able to answer in clear and concise sentences. You just begin to ramble and ramble and ramble and ramble and ramble because success is not defined. And unless you are clear on what you want to achieve, you cannot get started on that path of success and super achievement. The other uh, part of this discussion is the fact that once I'm clear on what I want, I have to identify the prices I need to pay as well. For some people, they know what they want. They are very clear on what they want. However, they are not yet clear on the prices they need to pay. They are not yet clear. It has not dawned on them that success comes at the price. The idea is that, you know, I mean, there's no free lunch anywhere. If you want to achieve success, there's always a price to pay. A bill will always come due. And if you're not willing to pay the price, then you're not going to be able to succeed at that level. You have to understand that we have the freedom to do whatever we like. But we do not have control over the outcomes and consequences of our actions. So when we take an action, there's going to be a reaction. I can control my action, but I cannot control the reaction. Like when I take an action, there are going to be consequences. So if the student that decides he wants to have a certain grade at the end of the semester, for example, will be willing to pay prices. Maybe while others are busy frolicking around, catching their phone, the students will not do those kind of things, right? The student has to conserve his time and energy towards study, towards research, towards tutoring, for example. So at the end of the semester, such a student can put in some solid work that would then that would earn the kind of grade the student is thinking and dreaming about, right? I mean, so whatever you decide is success, is going to come with a price. A lot of times when we think about success and living a successful life, we only think about it on the surface. We really go deep and ask ourselves, if I'm really going to become an international speaker with speaking engagement across three continents, what would the home, home look like? <laughs> right? So because such a person has not sat down to think about what's going to happen, at the end of the day, you know, he's not able to achieve that because he has not considered the sacrifices and the balances that need to happen in other areas of their life so that they can have this kind of thing in their life. So let me be clear. Whatever success you have in mind now that is not well defined is probably not going to happen, right? You cannot keep shifting the goalpost and expect you're going to score a goal. The goalpost must be rigid, well set out so that you can 
know what you are working towards. That's very important. And then and you must understand what prices will be required. What price do you have to pay if you are going to have this kind of success? If you are willing to achieve that success, there will be a price to pay. What is the price? Are you thinking about the price? Have you started paying the price? <laughs> you know? So these are things that need to happen in order for you to get success. And that's from today, when you see successful people, always try to look out for their sacrifices. What price did they pay before they were able to achieve this kind of success? That is a more important angle to approach it from. Even it's more important even than what they actually achieved. Because if I know the prices you pay, then I can better understand what will be required of me if I ever want to have that kind of success in my own life. Why don't you repeat after me this morning? Say, God daily loads me with benefits. I am bold and strong. Every day, in every way, I am getting better and better. My name is Ademola Murebiche. Thank you so much for taking our time to check out this video. Remember, you can lead it from the